is abomination. It's all abominable, abominable stuff on Eastern Parkway. Right. Brother, you gotta repent. Stop dressing like a woman, you gotta repent. That's right! You are a man, you're not a woman. You can't fool the righteous people. You are a man, not a woman. Wow. I've known you for a long time. Yes. It's time to repent. Right. It's time to repent. Give me first verse 69, sister. Sister, you've been this way for a long time. Sister, you got any You understand? Got any and it's time for you to repent. It's time to change. You, know, you, you see what's going on out there in the world? A lot of a lot of crazy things. But now, sister, it's time for you to change. Because you know what's going on now is you're battling the spirit on you. First Corinthians 6 is, you know what I'm going to say. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Come on. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So the unrighteous are those that break God's commandments. You're not going to get into God's kingdom. You're going to die here. We be not deceived, neither fornicators. You know what it means to be a fornicator? No, no, no. A fornicator is breaking the laws on marriage. Right. I'll give you an example. Your lifestyle breaking the laws of marriage. Right. Didn't, didn't God say go forth and be fruitful and multiply? Can two can't, women can't can't, do it. Can two women be together and multiply? It's impossible. Read that part again. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters. No idolaters. No adulterers. Uh-huh. Nor effeminate. No effeminate. No abusers of themselves with Mankind! Sister, you're abusing yourself with mankind because the Bible speaks in manly tense. Right. But you in this case, you're abusing yourself with a woman. Right. Okay, and that's not your natural state. You understand? That because you can say that you death. Get me down in uh Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. The most high is calling us to repent. Sister, I know but now, sister, it's time to change. It's time to change. Come on. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 29. Now, wait, let me ask you. How long have you been like this? How long have you been dealing with women? 17 years. 17 years. Now, what made you go that route? I've always been like this. When you say you've always been, what do you mean? I never had no sexual preference in God, so I just like sleeping now. Okay, do you feel that you were born that way? Do you feel like you were born that way? I'm not gonna say I was born that way. Okay, so there was a time that you found boys or you know the, the opposite sex attractive, right? There was a time because you weren't born like that, you see. I wasn't born like that. That's just my desire that I chose. Oh, okay. There we go. So you know what that desire that you chose is called in the Bible? It's called something. lust. Let me say something also. I'm glad you said that because a lot of the uh, LBGT community, a lot of them say they were born that way. But right. You said it. I chose this life. So do you believe it's possible that there's a gay gene? What do you mean? Explain it. Meaning, listen, if I got a, I got a baby boy, he's six months old. It's a, it's a basically it's a possibility that he's gay. Now I don't think six months old are gay. Like men, are they doing that? No. So basically, what you're trying to say, there is a, a gene in him that is going to evolve when he gets older. It's going to manifest when he gets older. That's in him. My another question is this: How can two heterosexuals? Produce homosexuality to a child. Does that make sense? Two straight oh, people create a gay baby. Does that make sense? They can. It can happen, but not of their willingness. Not, not through willingness and not through, through not through DNA. It's, not impo it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. When you you've been to college, or you've been to psychology class? Okay, in psychology they have something called nature versus what? Nature versus what? Nurture. Nature versus nurture, meaning nature meaning you were born a certain way. Nurture meaning you were taught a certain way. Right. Homosexuality is taught. Right. Right. It's not born. Right. It's not manifested in your genes. You were taught that. Right. For an example, I'll give you an example. TV. 
the media, for example, how old are you? 30. Okay, 30 years old. 10 years ago, you would not see what we see in Brooklyn right now. Right. You would not see it. You saw maybe a little shade there, a little bit east there. You saw maybe, you know, you can spot it. You want this big class. Why? Because. Who? Not people. I'm gonna tell you what it was. White people pushed the, the gay lifestyle on the black people to destroy us. Right. That's right. Homosexuality is unfruitful. Man, right. we cannot produce kids being homosexual or lesbian. You understand that? Homosexuality was used to the, to destroy the black man, to destroy his image. That's what it was used. That's why you had Antoine Dodson come out. Remember that? They're climbing in your windows. They're snatching your people. Remember that? Hide your kids, hide your wife, and all of that. All of that was used to destroy our people. First they threw homosexuality, I'm going to show you how they did homosexuality, real quick. The way they introduced homosexuality to us, they presented it in a form of comedy, right? What does comedy do? What is, what is comedy, the purpose of comedy? Make you laugh. When you laugh at something, it's a joke. But when you laugh at it, what does it mean? What does it do to your, uh, your, your fences? For example, me, I was, for example, the brothers here, we're anti-homosexuality. But a comedian can make a funny joke about it, and it'll make us laugh. So our defenses will go, you know what? Maybe make a little passive. Exactly. So now we have become passive in what? Homosexuality and lesbianism. But you yourself said you chose this way. My question is why? Why did you choose to? Why? Because that's, that's what I want to do. That's no, me. there's always a reason for something, sister. There's always a reason. Right. There's it always a happy. reason. For example, you know makes, why? That's my best reason. It makes me happy. I'll give you an example. That's my main reason. It makes you happy. How does... Explain how it makes you happy. <laughs> I'm not telling you, there's always an effect. Why does it make you happy? Why does it make me happy? It's because I'm comfortable. That's why I wouldn't want to be... So you're trying to say a man can't give you comfort? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you this. The, give well, me that. Well, basically, basically, neither can a woman for me, in my case. Give me a, exactly. What give I me, do. Uh, his duty of marriage. I, do I want it. that. If you take it another wife. Uh, Exodus 20. Talk to yeah. me. Okay. So, because the psychology behind homosexuals and lesbians, they feel that the opposite sex is the only way they can feel happy and be comfortable. You know what I'm talking about. No, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then you just said, sometimes women can't even do that for me. So what are you confused? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what God wants from you. Give me that. Because I work with little kids that's around eight, nine years old I, I, in the school. Work with the kids in the school. Give me that. Give me the scripture where it says, Food, I got you. Exodus chapter 21 and verse 10. Read it. Listen good. If he take him another wife. So man, if he had a wife. Go ahead. Her food. So a man is supposed to supply what? Her food. Her food. What she eats. Her raiment. Her clothes. And her duty of marriage. Meaning a man is supposed to hold down the fort. You know? Shall he not diminish? Meaning he's not supposed to leave it alone. He's not supposed to leave like a lot of brothers are doing. The reason why a lot of homosexuality is in the black community, because there's no more strong father figure anymore in the house. That's you know right. what I'm talking about. So what happens is you have women raising kids by themselves. Now I was a child, just like you was a child, by yourself. When you're by not, yourself... I wasn't by myself. My father was there. My mother was there. Okay, okay different scenario, but I'll give you another example. When you're idle, what does that mean, idle? When you're being your kid? Person who you look up to. Person who you look up to. No, I, not idle. Oh, when you're idling. Like when you have a little time. Idle time. I-D-L-E. Like idle time. Like, you know, spare time. You just do whatever. You're just chilling, right? Exactly. Those are when them thoughts come and give me that. That's good. Idleness teaches pressure. So, the homosexuality is taught to us. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, because years ago, years ago, homosexuality was considered an illness. But you had 
you had certain men like, uh, what's his name? A gay activist in the 70s. Harvey Milk, that was his name, in San Francisco, he fought for, that was his name, Harvey Milk. That's why they made that movie Milk. Right, that's the name of the movie. He fought for rights during the 70s okay. for homosexuals to get married, to get rights. That's the, but that was an attack on the black community because we're not supposed to be homosexual. That's right. We're not supposed to be. We're supposed to be dealing with the opposite sex. Right. Read that again. Not Sir the same sex, opposite sex. We don't. Sirach chapter 33 and verse 27. Send him to labor that he be not idle. I'll give you an example. When you're idle and you're not in labor, when you're not working, when kids don't have chores, today they're on what? The internet. They're watching porn on the internet. On the internet. Parents don't know what they're doing on exactly. the internet. Exactly. They're watching twerk videos. They're watching uh, these reality. They got reality. the cartoons doing twerk videos now. Right. They're watching all types of evil. Right? Some of that evil is homosexuality and lesbianism. That puts an effect on a kid's mind. He'll say, you know what, maybe I want to deal with a man. Maybe I want to lick vagina. That's what it is. Because it's in his spirit, it's in his mind, because he was programmed to think that way. Every thought that you have come from TV or a, or a magazine or a video or, a, or the internet or the iPhone. Or from somebody, or somebody talking crap. Yep. So everything is in your head. So sis, you got to come out that lifestyle, and it's not hard. You're a very beautiful sister. If you put the dress on, stop dressing like a man. You put the dress, the, the, the dress and the uh, you know, shoes and all of that, head wrap. Another, you'd be a different level. Give me that Psalms 144 and verse 12. That's good. I'm gonna show you something. So only in slavery is when we think and we participate in these behaviors. Go ahead. Psalms chapter 144 and verse 12. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. Give me the verse 11 first. Verse 11. Read me. The Bible says, read me. Meaning, deliver me from what? And deliver me from the hand of strange children. We are asking God himself to deliver us from strange people. Who are the strange people? The other nations that oppressed us. The white men. The Africans, the Chinese, the Japanese. These are where these thoughts come from. We don't. Whose mouth speaketh vanity. The mouth that speaketh vanity is against us. It's okay to be homosexual. It's, it's okay to be lesbian. Since when has that been okay? You know it's not okay because you got to ask yourself, what I used to do was wicked. How come all of a sudden now they want to push it in everything I watch? You know, every TV, every watch uh, I'm watching. You got to ask yourself, What's the big picture? The big, I'm going to tell you the big picture. The big picture is population control. Right. That's, That's right. What the big picture is. If you cannot produce, you're, you're, you're dead. You That's understand right. that? That's the big picture, population control. That goes all along with Planned plan, Parenthood, abortion, vaccinations. All of that is in the same uh, area. That's right. That's what homos, the plot of homosexuality. It's not because you really think white people care about homos and they rights. You think that they care about black people? No! It's about population control. You keep dealing with the opposite sex, I mean the same sex, eventually the race is going to decrease. You understand that? Because back then in the America, America was considered Christian. America used to follow some of the laws of the Bible. So some laws back then forbid homosexuality. Some laws even back then forbid adultery. So once God was removed out of the school system, out of the church, I mean out of the, the state, the homo stuff started coming in. You know what? Rid me and deliver me from the hands of strange children. Deliver me from strange children. Strange children of other nations. But they are the children of Satan. We are the children of God. That's right. That's right. 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 Whose mouth speaketh vanity. The mouth speak lies. Read on. And their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. Meaning they right, your right hand represents your strength. Your right hand. When you talk, when you read about like the old ways, the left hand was where the wicked was. Right hand is where Christ was. So God saying our enemy's right hand, where it's supposed to be power and support, is lies. What you think is right is wrong in this country. Homosexuality, lesbianism, men sagging their pants, Woman wearing pants, all of that was taught to us that that was right, but God said it's wrong. Right. It's wrong. We don't. That our sons may be as plants.
grown up in their youth. The Bible says our men is going to be as plants grown up in their youth. You ever seen botanical gardens, how beautiful the plants look? You ever been to botanical gardens? I've never been there, but I've seen a lot of plants. You know what I'm talking about? What plant was that on the bottom? That's the, um, it's like the three of the two trees. Like the cute, the cute. Okay. Like when you go to the, the, uh, the shuttle train, when you take the shuttle train to Botanical Gardens, you see all the beautiful flowers, you see how it look? The Bible says our men are supposed to be strong like that, like a water that's planted. We're supposed to be like men, we're supposed to be like that, meaning what? Strong. Read on. That our daughters, now it says the daughters, our women like yourself, read on. May be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace. God says in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be like a palace. The sis, I'm going to tell you straight, America is going to be destroyed. That's right. You know why it's going to be destroyed? Because God said, the sins have reached up to heaven. Meaning, there's so much evil in this country, God is, is getting tired of it. You see, he's getting tired of it. Read that in Revelation 18. They, the white man and them, they love seeing us like this. They like seeing our people destroyed. We got, look at all these businesses on them. We don't, we don't own none of it. We don't own any of it, but we know what we do own? Nothing. We own, what, homosexuality? We do. When we come to fashion with homosexual, we take it to the next level. LBGT, when the black people step in that homosexual arena, we take it to the extreme next level. We had a brother I thought was a woman. And I, I, I said, wait a minute, the brother kind of too tall. And I see a little hands. I see the hands are too big, and he got a little whiskers underneath his chin. I said, that's a man. That's not right. Think about it. A man is, what is the word man? What is the word man mean? Of the ground. We was of the ground. Woman means from man. But if you act, if you're a man trying to be like a woman, it don't make sense. It's confusion. It's crazy. Read that again. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard. Is that another man right here? Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That is out of order with God. God is going to kill people like that. And when, when Christ come back, because this country is going to go down in World War III. I'm going to tell you straight. You're going to have the Russians, and you got North Korea and all them nations. And the, and the uh, European Union and NATO are going to attack this country. Because it's, it, there's so much evil going on. Read that again. And I heard another so, point. Just real quick. I want you to look. Just look at it. Was this, was this, this look, was that like that 10 years ago? Was that like that even four or five years ago or what? You couldn't even do that. That's not right. Okay, like, well, this is not how we're supposed to be. You know this already. This is not how we're supposed to be. Hold on, one more scripture. Go ahead. Read that again. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her meaning America. America in the Bible is referred to as Babylon the Great, the woman that sitteth on many waters, meaning she rules the planet. That's what it means. So when it says come out of her, my people, meaning come out of the philosophy and the mindset of this. Come out of it. You gotta come out of it, sis. You have to come out of it. You have to come out of this, this life. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on our YouTube channel. Shalom.